Especially beautiful month of May, when all the buds burst open, then in my heart love unfolded too. Now down the second page is the second stroke. In the wondrously beautiful month of May, when all the birds sang, then I confessed to her my longing and my desire. And then that leads on to the second one, which then says, out of my tears go forth many flowers in bloom. So, you know, his, his crying and his, his tears then yield these beautiful flowers. And my sighs become a choir of nightingales. So that's, you know, this melancholy you know, produces then this, these beautiful responses in nature. And if you are fond of me, little one, I will give you all the flowers and before your window shall ring the song of the nightingale. So that's the second song. The third is then maybe the shortest of the whole set. And it's, it's all syllabic, it's really quick. And it goes, the rose, the lily, the dove, the sun, I love them all with the rapture of love. I love them no more. I love alone the little one, the fine, the pure, the only one. She herself, the well of all love, is rose and lily and dove and sun. I love alone the little one, the fine, the pure, the only one. And then that leads into the fourth song, which then he's talking about then being with her. When I look into your eyes, then all my grief and sorrow vanish. But when I kiss your lips, I become all well again. When I lean on your breast, I feel the joy of heaven descending. But when you say, I love you, then I must weep bitterly. So we're going to listen to these first four that take about five minutes.
And so we're going to pick it up here. We've got one more to do this morning. So number seven, then, is the point at which then the story takes a turn. And you realize that things aren't going so well. And so, if we look at the text, it translates, and this again is in two strokes, so each page features one stroke. I bear no grudge, even though my heart may break. Eternally lost love, I bear no grudge. Though you are shining in your diamond splendor, no ray falls into the darkness of your heart. I've known it well for a long time. And then the second strophe is, I bear no grudge even though my heart may break. For I saw you in my dream, and I saw the darkness in your heart, and I saw the snake that feeds upon your heart. I saw, my love, how utterly wretched you are. I bear no grudge.